All right, we are live on Facebook. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove this from the screen real quick. Hey, there she is. <laughs> uh, Carly, you got a two-year thing off uh, mute real quick. There we go. Yeah, so when you go back to the share screen thing again, um, uh, it's doing it's doing the the whole screen thing. So I think you you want to do um, just the tab. I don't know if I think you 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 double clicked on the tab versus selecting which one you want. I don't know if it was the wrong one. You may want to go do it again real quick, just so you know. But we'll talk through it. I'll bring it off the screen. But uh, didn't want to. You can wave, Carly. Hi. <laughs> Uh, we are live. You know, it's fun little technical difficulties. This is the way. Uh, this is where I, our new world is, right? I've been bootlegging. I seriously keep my iPad with Bluetooth keyboard on standby twenty four seven because then I just do this. See? <laughs> I like it. Uh, well, real quick, just go ahead and introduce yourself, um, and then we're going to be talking today, real quick. I thought this would be super relevant for, especially in our virtual staging, virtual showings, virtual open houses. All of these things that were going on through with realtors and the industry is having um, a mechanism really for all those homes that need some fixing, some improvements, some work. And then, of course, you know, sellers, sometimes they don't want to put in the money. We get it. Uh, but then it makes it challenging for buyers because they come through the home and they a lot of buyers most of the times don't have the vision necessarily to see a home that's remodeled, right? The kitchen, right? Or the master bedroom, master bath, certain rooms or the whole house. And so this is an opportunity through a flat fee type service that you can offer where you could come in, help out the seller or the realtor, you know, do that kind of before and after design of a kitchen, for example. Mm -hmm. And then more importantly, now the realtor can go and we can use it as a marketing tool and get cost estimates. So the buyer comes into the home and they view it and they say, Hey, I got to go remodel that kitchen. Great. And it's going to cost me a hundred grand. And you're like, no, actually it's going to cost you about this because we have some estimates. Right. And this is what it can look like before and after. Right. And then you have it on poster boards in the house or you use it on your photos on the MLS. But you're showing that before and after of a kitchen without having to spend the money to actually do it. Right. And whether that's the kitchen or the bathroom or the master bath, master bedroom, the whole house. Uh, I thought it was really relevant because that's a, a great service as long as it can be you know, cost effective for either the realtor to pay for it as part of their marketing. Or more importantly, uh, for the seller that wants to get it, or if the buyer wants to get it you know, as a part of the you know, the escrow and so forth, so that they have some cost estimates and design elements for when they close escrow on the home. Now they have a way to, of course, remodel it and do the fix-ups mm -hmm. uh, with the design element from an interior with, designer. With a clear vision of right. the end result. Yeah. We're having the hodgepodge, right? Because everybody says, oh, I don't want to pay for the designer but they don't realize that actually designers can be super cost effective, number one. And number thank two, you. Thank they're, they're going to make it fabulous. What's that? I said, thank you for that. You bet. You bet. So I wanted to kind of bring you on, have you introduce yourself and then talk about kind of that flat fee service design that you're helping realtors with, sellers, and of course, buyers. And then we'll share your screen and kind of do some of those before and afters as we get to that point and go from there. Okay. I am just trying to bulletproof us just in case we have a glitch and yeah. turning into my Dropbox from my iPad. Okay. Um, just in case. So yeah, I, I, I'm in the office today. I got my, uh, my, this is my PPE. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm you happy. brought that up because I've been making all of my friends share their looks. See, I, I do got my gloves. I, I have I do, a little more bank. That's good. That's good. Right. And I, and I do have my hand sanitizer, my lucky little hand sanitizer. So we're we're good, man. We got it all. Yeah. And um, you're we're, fortunate we're, we're to still have hand sanitizer. I ran out a couple weeks ago. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead and introduce yourself and we'll get into it and then kind of show people some before and after shots of what you do and okay. how you're helping the realtors, sellers, and buyers doing that flat fee type of design services. Thank you. Yeah, we we're very fortunate um, here at Carly Blaylock Interiors that we have had to have virtual 
um, service elements in our firm for probably 15 plus years because being a national firm, not everybody's in the same town or the same location for whatever their needs are. A lot of realtors, uh, we work with realtors in Palm Beach and in Dallas, um, a couple in New York, Vail, uh, even down in Mexico on some properties, uh, Hawaii. So we are very fortunate to have had this virtual service communication process um, internally, like I said, for 15 years. And so a long time ago, what we started to do was um, not only put storyboards together, but then as technology technology advanced, we really got fluid with our renderings. And the beauty with a rendering is people can easily see an end result of what you were saying, hey, this is what it's going to look like and not question in their mind what they're agreeing to. You know, right. so we're plans, right? I'm trying to show these. So long ago were plans and then in the plans you would have materials just kind of pointing to those. I'm seeing if I have one of my old fashioned uh, storyboard ones in here back in the day. Um, but you didn't have the actual image and nowadays with renderings is very very hard to tell the difference between an actual photo of the finished space and those rendering of design which is really awesome right I mean it excites us it excites the client it excites the seller the buyer everybody's communicating everybody's happy um, and then you know we're very fortunate being 18 years in the design world we're very aware of what things cost so if a realtor or a buyer comes to us or even a seller that wants to get the house ready to get more value, perception is everything, um, out of the sale, we're able to advise based on a dollar amount that we can truly feel confident in assuring you, hey, if it looks like this, it yep. is $80,000. If it looks like this, it's one hundred and twenty. dollars If it looks like this, it's forty. dollars Right. So it's really, really, really clarified the conversations these days and everybody's expectations on timing, what it looks like, cost, ease, you know, expectations are met, which is nice. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, um, if you can kind of multitask and see if you can try your screen thing again, you know, we'll kind of talk through it a little bit. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to kick you off. Uh, kick from the. I'm going to kick your screen from the. So I stopped my no. screen. Okay. And I've so got got trying, to, yeah, trying to redo that again and um, have is is your Dropbox uh, a tab or is it an actual application? Well, my team, knowing that I'm a little challenged when it comes to technology. I mean, I wish I was in your office with you right now. I'd have it like lickety split. But I know, I'll right? Um, we'd be done. But. Um, so knowing that I'm a little challenged, they set me up. I love my team. They're the bomb. They teach me things every day when it comes well, to on your, on your computer screen right now, is your drop well, or is it on your, your tab of Chrome? Well, I have it. My files are open so that I can just pull them up if I can share my whole screen. If I need to share Chrome, I can go back into my Dropbox. But I was hoping to like avoid that process. No, you can, I think you can share your whole screen if you want to try that again and see how that works. All right. So here it says entire screen, and this is where I keep getting it won't allow me to click on share. It's just only highlighting cancel. So what if you did the application window? All right. Let's try that one. Uh, StreamYard or Finder are my two options on application window. Chrome. Um, yeah, Chrome. you don't want StreamYard. Uh, what about, what's the other, you have an application window, then you have... Um, Chrome tab. Uh, what about Chrome tab? StreamYard again. Or? Or my inbox, or the Jeep Wranglers I'm looking at, or my CBI. Oh, wait, let's try this. Let's try this Google. Well, is that sharing? Well, it will, yes, but I just need to know. Um, yeah. So I could possibly, yeah, see it. If, is that what you're seeing? Well, how, how do you get your Dropbox? 
Do you get to your Dropbox through going through a Chrome tab or do you go through the actual application on your computer? I can, yeah, I can go on the web to get it or I can get it from- um, so do, do, so do, it, do it from the web using a, a tab on Chrome. Okay. And then that way you can share that tab from Chrome onto our uh, live video here real quick. Sorry everybody for the technical difficulties. This is fun. <laughs> well, I've got my backup plan up. So if I have to just turn around my trusty iPad, we're going to be, we'll be fine. So are you seeing me go through into my files right now? No. Okay. Because I'm not I, sure. You're not. Um... Yeah, I think there's a glitch. So funny, my tech guy's been over here um, to my house probably four times just to get me uh, set up. And he said, it's definitely not error user. <laughs> So I'm not fully crazy. Yeah, so. no worries. Okay. Well, I'm up right now. So So know. if you if you stop sharing your screen and go back in and reshare it and choose that tab on the on the Chrome tab. All right. Then it should be the tab that you want, which is your Dropbox. How are we doing now? There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yay. Boom. All right. Like that. All so, right. So, so here's like the training. Do, Sorry. Yeah, what I was going to say, I can kind of lead us through it. What I'd like to do is have you explain, um, take a before and after shot of a kitchen, for example, like we talked about, and then give an example of, you know, really what you would do for a realtor or for a seller that would be looking to market their home. And, and then we'll talk about costs, right? Some generalized costs and ranges, give or take of what that flat fee may look like to be able to do a rendering for a realtor or for um, um, or for anyone, buyer, really, for that matter. Buyer, possibly, yeah. So here's a prime example of a house um, that there, there's two beautiful options with um, having the communication about the potential of the house without having to actually physically do anything. So one of them, how we do it is through what we call storyboards, right? And everybody has seen these for the test of time and people really like these. I highly recommend to have them um, at the house when you're showing it. Then the next level up, what we're showing here, and of course it's, see, I had it much larger, which was nice, but these are the before and afters. So I was hoping I, I can bring it up full screen, and then if you can double click on them, maybe it'll bring it up that way. Okay, not. So you can see at this angle of the kitchen, and of course, it's not getting bigger on me. Hmm. This is the rendering. So this really shows you the potential of after. Why are you not? Let me try it this way. Yeah, that's as big as I can get right now, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. So this is a beautiful example of before, as is, right? And then with the plan and estimated cost, this is the rendering. And this is identical. This isn't just a sketched artist, you know, this is possible. These are actual plans with materials, and then the rendering is developed from that. So if I showed you the current photo of this kitchen. It's apples for apples, and I have a few of those to show. So, they have, so hold on one second. Scroll back to the before. So that's the before shot of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now scroll to the after. The scroll to the rendering for the after. As you can see, the similarities between the before and the after. It, we were to control costs, right? We weren't reinventing the wheel. Sure. So that's the after rendering of what the kitchen obviously is look like or, and as right yeah. now. Yes. Yeah. So now talk about, okay, a realtor wants mm -hmm. to do this or a seller wants to do this for their house and they're going to list it next week or a month from now. Um, I know you haven't thought maybe all the way through the exact cost, but generally speaking, a range of flat fee that it would cost to do a single rendering for a kitchen like this what would that be with um us at curly Oil up interiors we are 3500 and then we go up from there now if you have the plans and you already have the files 
So we aren't putting, you know, we're not putting that technical time in. It is less than that. Um, sure. Because then we are only selecting materials, which is a minimal amount of time, and then actually populating the rendering itself. So yeah. then that fee goes down to closer to fifteen hundred. Yeah. Um, but it, so it's because you're having to do the design drawing of the kitchen, right? Because you do have to go in and CAD yep. the space, and then populate put in the materials that we're selecting plus our time right that's our professional gift that's what we do best for you yep. is to say these are the materials this is the lighting this is the tile this is exactly the flooring this is what we're going to use yep. um, this is a really nice example here on that so you can see here this is the like a great room as you walk in you can't see from this particular photo but the door is literally right behind you and then you this is the new wow so would it be i presume it gets economies of scale once you have um if you're you know going to do a, a couple rooms in the house you would actually do the cat of, of those yeah. rooms up front yeah. and then each rendering would be a lot cheaper so i presume you could probably do a package of say three different rooms for a certain price I'm yeah that's, yeah absolutely okay yeah, because yeah, I think that's important is to kind of keep it in, in somewhat relative terms. It's still obviously a lot cheaper than a homeowner going in and doing it themselves. And now they can provide value. Think of it in the sense of almost like staging the house in a way. Right. right? If you're not going to stage it, you're not going to do anything. But you want to go ahead and feature some before and afters of a room. Um, it may be a way to do it. I mean, obviously, there's some. Other elements, people do some virtual staging and virtual this and virtual that, and you can technically do that, but it's still going to cost you a chunk of money and it doesn't have the design element of all the finishes, right? From kitchen, cabinets, backsplashes, flooring, counters, all those things that you may be done in the kitchen where they may just be going in and doing some of that virtual staging stuff. So let me show you on this one. I have, unfortunately, when I... Um when I pop out to show you this, I don't see us talking anymore. So I'm. That's all right. I'm, you're leading me through. So, at what you were just talking about, this is another um, brilliant um, aspect to technology nowadays. So, there's always different type of buyers, you know, and people are attracted to different things. So, for the most part, in the past, a lot of realtors have played the game of, you know, the common, like the, the, what's going to be attractive to the mass, right? So this is a nice uh, option with renderings is this is the house. So it's being built right now. It's a spec build. So we have the design element from the architect, but we didn't have the um, interiors finished yet. And however, you could go in with the option to change materials if you wanted to. So we came in with our designs and produced these renderings to show you the different options that you could choose in terms of design and materials in the finished look. And this is a really powerful uh, selling point for spec builds, uh, renovations, because this mm -hmm. is allowing the buyer to see the options that are yep. possible without you actually physically spending this money. Right, exactly. And, and this, as you mentioned, you know, this is really set up for, um, you know, ideally it's that upper end buyer or seller. Uh, I'm going to bring some, I'm going to bring Fawn in. Do you know Fawn? I do. I love All Fawn. Right, I'm going to bring her into the screen right here. Do you see her at the bottom? She's saying, Justin, how much faster will a house sell when better visuals are available? Or are there stats on that? There's not specific stats on how fast it's going to sell, but we do know it does sell faster and for more money nine times out of 10, simply because as we all know, buying a home, right? Not an investment property, but a home where someone's living in is such an emotional process, mm -hmm. right? It's so emotional and people see themselves in the home. So the more that you can create fear of loss, urgency, competition, right? You create that emotional effect where someone walks into a home and falls in love with it, right? Right staging, visuals, anything that allows a buyer to have that kind of vision that is very difficult for people to have when they walk into a home that needs a full-blown remodel or a kitchen. They're like, oh, I love the layout of the kitchen, but it just needs new cabinets, new countertops, new flooring, new this, new that, but they can't see it. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, beyond seeing it, they start throwing out random numbers of it's going to cost me 50 grand to do this kitchen or a hundred grand to do the kitchen when the reality, maybe it's 25. Right. And so having that 
and having that element in place is very, very important. So, right. uh, but to answer your question, Fawn, thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, we do know it will help you sell faster. Yeah, we do know it's going to help you sell faster. Sorry, Justin. Yeah, I was just going to say, we do know it's going to help sell it faster. And we do know nine times out of 10, it's going to get you more money on the property because it's simply a matter of bringing more eyeballs into the property, getting people to see it, compete for it. The more buyers, the more people, the more traffic, right? You tend to get more offers, the more offers, the more money. And so it's just a matter of getting that, getting the eyeballs on the property. Well, and I think visuals have that interaction, that relating element, that moment where you start to have the experience in the house of what you think you would really like versus what is right. That's where yeah. visuals really, really start the conversation with somebody and really motivate them to say, okay, this is how I see myself living. Okay. This is how I would love for this end result to be. Um, and I think right now in today's marketplace and climate, when people, regardless of this virus, uh, people are moving a lot more and still have to finish, you know, their stint, say, in Houston, but they're going to be here in six months. So they're able to now look at these homes and say, OK, also, I'll buy it now. And in the six months time that I have to get it up to where I need it, these visuals really help with the communication and the feel good of the relating choices that they're making. Sure. And let's presume for a moment that you had, let's take a house in La Jolla, right? Something more luxury along the coast, anywhere in San Diego. And let's say it's a 1975s house that has some upgrades maybe done in the 90s. <laughs> but we all know you walk into it and it needs that upgrade, right? Whether it's the kitchen. You're, you're, you're in real estate in the 90s? No, heck no. I'm only nine years into this, man. But <laughs> I've seen homes. You know, I got, I got, you know, you got to remember the homes in the 90s had that like pink, the orange, the the glass tiles. Remember, like the square tiles. You oh, see I remember everywhere? when I first went into Coronado Caves. I I thought like they only understood pink tile. I was like, is there a house in this entire sector that does not have pink tile? Please. Right. So that Joan that was like Joan a key Croc's component of the, key component of the nineties. Joan Crock's well, house was all pink. Yeah, I mean it's it, it was the style. You know, it yeah. is what it is, and it was the style, but. You know, you, you take a home like that, it's in more of the luxury market, uh, anything really above a million dollars, putting something together like this, let's call it 3,500 bucks for simple math, as a marketing component to sell that home. So that way a buyer can come in, that's an end buyer, right? Owner occupant versus an investor coming in, because they're going to both come in with two prices, right? Investors coming in, they're going to make money, they're going to lowball you, and they're going to get a certain price. You get an end buyer that's willing to take on that fixer because now they see the renderings and they have a general idea of cost. Mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden the value of that property went up and you're attracting more buyers into that home. Whereas otherwise it may have only been attracted by an investor client that was willing to take on that fixer and that remodel. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let me show you one um, that is not um, structural or a finish space. It's hundred percent furniture and color base you know, like paint, furnishings, lighting, very more of a facelift, we call it. Yeah. This is, a, you know, or makeup. I'd say this is more equivalent to makeup than, um, a, a, you know, go, going under the knife. So here, again, back to good old fashioned storyboards. Here's your options of the styles. And they say, yeah, we're attracted to this. We're attracted to that. We want a combo. Then you come in here and this, was our before I can still not zoom again. We're letting you zoom in on it. There you go. <laughs> a little bit better. Yeah. So yeah. So there. That's a great example, right? I mean, that's a. This is an ident That's an identical room. That is not a rendering. That is the photo. Wow. Just with makeup. Yeah. See, and that's a perfect. This is a perfect example of showing. Hey, you come into that one, go back to the original again. So look at the val the perceived value now when the buyer is walking in. Oh, big time. Because mm -hmm. you automatically, I mean, the, the money add to that visually and the emotion side of that when someone could, you could literally put a poster board in that living room of the actual property. Someone walks in and they see that before and after. And then they say, gosh, how much is this going to cost? And you give them a decent estimate. I mean, done. Right. 
Well, uh, and then the other thing, if you can see here, look how much larger that space looks with the right orientation on the furniture. And the, and the double function now that you're showing. Like that's a lot of value when somebody is looking to buy because it looks one, you know, looks one way in terms of size and scale. And then you have a professional like us come in and say, well, this is possible in this room. This is actually in here to scale. And look at now it's got two functions, bar and a great room, enjoying the view. And look how much more open it looks. Yeah. Yeah, and I think having these There's ready to go and on that trying one. to show people this stuff. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, because I mean, and having this, whether it's a rendering or an actual photo, having it available and ready to go mm -hmm. gives the buyer the concept of what's possible. And then you right. give them the cost estimates. Right. And that's even more important because then that starts to put their mind in place of saying, yeah, we can come after this house and buy it and then put X amount into it. And it's going to look like this. Uh, that's very, very, very powerful. Yeah. So I love it. Yeah. So we, um, we're very fortunate. Like I said, we've been um, working with great realtors like you for a while that have said, Hey, you know, I've got this buyer in another location or I've got this seller um, that wants to put X amount in and, you know, we need to move this thing in 30 days. Yep. So this is, an, you know, that's a perfect scenario if, if, you know, everything goes right. And so, uh, we started to think about that and say, you know, who else would benefit from this fast turnaround of the possibility with a um, rendering, right? So back in 14, I had started with my team um, this product called Invite Me Over, and then we had some success with it. And then we just got busy, you know, with just new construction and everything else that we, we just didn't promote it as much as we should. And we pulled it back out of the archives. Oh, look there at that. Are, yeah, yeah, invite me over. It's like Mary Poppins with her bag of tricks here. And um, it's really, I think it's a brilliant um, thing. I'm glad that we're bringing this back out in today's time because there's a lot of people in this snapshot of a moment that need some help and they need it now, right? Like they need that new space for their, what we call the modern day co-op. One minute the room's a classroom, next minute it's mom's conference office, next minute it's dad's four o'clock meeting. Or, you know, the other thing, Justin, you inspired me on when we were talking is getting back to the uh, business happy hour. I'm like, all right, Justin's doing the <laughs> virtual business happy hour. I'm... I'm doing the right yeah, or or fun day, Sunday, Sunday, fun day, happy hour with your friends, either way. But everybody's doing it. It's actually yeah. really funny those to are see no all these going on around the country. Yeah, those are no brainers. But I don't know about you, but I, you know, the other day when you shared you were getting together with some of your colleagues and doing the business happy hour, I'm like, why am I not? You know? So this is called uh, the design interior design concierge. And basically what's killer about it is it is for those people that need just one room altered here and now, and I need this product to show up. You know, I need whatever it is we agree upon. Um, I need it done in 30 days. So the great thing about it is we have it all spelled out. And so you basically go on, figure out what your room size is per room. All the rates are flat rates like we talked about, and they range from anywhere from $2,100 to $3,500. And then in the package comes your storyboard so you understand exactly what we're proposing. You say, I love this one. I'm not a fan of this one. I don't yeah. know if the is kind of showing it differently. So we send you these within a matter of days. You red circle, tell us what you love. We put it back together for you. And then you have your product and your rendering that following week. And next thing you know, you're off to the races and you're enjoying your space in 30 days. So it's really nice. Um, to have these virtual tools to help. Um, oh, you know, okay, so that's for people that are going to stay in their, in their homes. And though I should say we're doing that for two homes right now where the client can't travel because they're really discouraging travel, um, but their house is going on the market in Ranch Santa Fe. There's one there, and then we have one over in Point Loma. So we're working with them virtually on the same exact product. So it's a flat rate. And we go in, we create the renderings, and they're going to be able to put their house on the market, you know, 30 days. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, what a great value add for people. Um, 
I, I mean, you, you just when you're in you're in you're in the business long enough, you know, you start to realize how important the emotion plays a role in this whole game of the residential sales, the home, yeah. right? Yeah. And it becomes less of a transaction and more of like an experience for people. And the better experience and the better home and the better emotion you can create, the more money you're going to get for the home, the faster it's going to sell, the more eyeballs you're going to get on it. And of course, the more money everybody makes and the buyer gets the home of their dreams. Right. And, and the faster that whole process goes. So, and they say in general, the the average or the average real estate transaction in today's market right now creates about 20 jobs. Really? Yep. Between your escrow, your title, your NHP. Yeah. I mean, you name it, your pest control companies, I mean, on and on, pool companies, interior yeah. designers, the realtors, both sides, you got their transaction coordinators, they're, I mean, on, just on and on and on. The average real estate deal creates 20, 20 jobs right now. I love it. That's pretty I love cool. It. Yeah. So we, need more, we need more real estate. We need to get we back do. to work. Here we go. Well, well that's and, and, essential, right? that's, <laughs> it's one of the strongest pieces in your portfolio. Yeah. You know, it's not, I mean, it's the, it's, it's been consistent on maintaining and, and rising in value. Yeah. So, um, that's I all. I, I, rolling a, oh, sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. We had a think tank yesterday with our brand group, um, office of awesome. Love Rebecca. She's the best. Mm -hmm. And she was sharing some statistic with us. And some of the statistics say that, you know, when I was trained in architecture, I started in architecture and then I switched over to um, interiors in 1997. We were told, you know, that we're going to break through that barrier that um, architects were necessary, but designers were only for the wealthy. Mm. And she shared with us a statistic yesterday that actually the average, the mid average hire and work with interior design firms more than the, you know, the 10%. So that was pretty nice to hear that, you know, we are getting through in, in society that, you know, it, it, like you said, we are, Un, you know, we aren't unattainable. We aren't unaffordable. We actually bring a lot of value to the table for multiple reasons. And we are cost effective. You know, I'm glad that that old, whatever you call it, is going out the window. Yeah, more more color. So I have your information going across the bottom. Let me yeah. uh, bring you into the screen one more time. And then, um, yeah, if anybody has any questions, if you want to get in touch with Carly, whatever it may be, whether you're a realtor that's looking to do this for one of your listings, seller obviously looking to do this for your house if you're trying to sell it. I think that's the value add is having it done up front in preparation for the buyer. If you have a home that needs that kind of fixing love without spending twenty five, fifty, you know, thousand dollars, you can go spend three thousand bucks or whatever it is to get the home prepared, you know, at least from a, a virtual standpoint, um, and have those renderings ready to go and have them on poster boards in the house, using them on the MLS using them in all the marketing materials. It's a huge, huge value add. So I'll let you kind of take, take us out and finish us off here and give your information, which is scrolling across the bottom. Question. So like, I'm sure you have some properties coming up, right? That are yeah. going to be, right. So look at the value. Like what, what do you have coming up? Well, now that I'm thinking about, I mean, I, you got a couple of properties uh, within the La Jolla area that are fixers where you got the homeowners holding off at the moment, right? They're holding off, but I mean, rather than them go in and kind of do some of the suggested fixing that we're talking about that may end up costing them 10 grand, 15 grand, right? Whether it's paint, carpet, you know, basic stuff like that. I would say, look, why don't you just do nothing now that I'm thinking about it? Let's spend 3,500 bucks or less or less. Yeah. We have the plan. And let's have your kitchen, you know, because we all know the kitchens and master bedrooms, master baths. That's what sells the houses. Everything else just kind of flows around that. Okay? Right. You go and you do the kitchen first and you render it up, right? And then maybe the master bedroom, master bath. And then that's how you kind of give people the perception of, hey, this is what it can look like. This is what it is now. And this is what it'll cost to do it. And that's huge value add. And you're only having to spend a few thousand versus a ton. Right. And you're taking a lot of stress off, right? Because, and time. And yeah, time. And time. So if they're living in the house and having to 
be displaced um, if they're like not really wanting to make these decisions based on, you know, what does the next 30 days look like? Hey, this is something at least I'm getting some forward progress for them and for you as a realtor to say, okay, at least at the very minimum, we can still keep moving forward and know that in less than 30 days, we have a package of visuals that is really going to make this attractive as you're showing it on the market. That, yeah. um, that spec build that I shared with you guys, some more current one, they sold all of those units off of those visuals because really? what we're showing up to a construction site, they can't see right. what it, the end result's going to be. So yeah. Yeah. That's a big service. Um, well, we are at our 30 minute time frame. All right. <laughs> uh, I appreciate everybody for tuning in and uh, obviously, you know, reshare this around and chat and comment and stuff. And, you know, Carly, if you want to send us off and say thank you and give your information, which I'm going to put across the bottom real quick, and they can reach out to you. Thank you. Yes. Um, you know, we're very fortunate. Our showroom is still, you know, Cedros, and we're going to be operating. But right now we're enjoying the 90% virtual Zooms that we're having these days. So if you need anything, do feel free to call us. Um, we are doing social distancing when it comes to actually getting things from the showroom or if you want to shop on some of the uh, some of the pieces and pillows and fun stuff that we have there. The other thing that my group is doing, uh, thanks to Dan Powell, the owner of the property, we are the village on Cedros Avenue. Uh, he decided to, it was a story last month, it was really nice in April, he actually waived all of our rents, which was wow. Amazing. He um, has 17 properties and he waived it for all of us as a, you know, I, I want you guys to keep thriving, you know, go focus on what you need to do right now. So it was amazing. Um, so nice. one more step that's, in that's pretty cool. I know he's, yeah, he's very generous. What, what's his name again? Cause we got to give him props for that. Cause that's not all landlords can do that. You know, right. But. Dan Powell. Dan Daniel Powell. Powell. Yeah, he's great. He's um, well known and respected um, through Solana Beach, Del Mar, Cardiff, and Sanitas. And uh, one, so the, his next giving is he's having those of us that, who can be open for a couple of hours and are healthy and feel safe to pass out. Um, he got a big shipment of masks in for all of those because they're hard to come by right now. Yeah. And everybody thinks like the next level is going to be like, you know, we're going to start going into action. And, and, and if you need any sanitizer. They made these little bottles. I mean, we're going to, we're giving them out for free. So I'll even send one to you. All, all right. right. That'll be the, that's all I've got. But yeah, yeah. that's a Monday from 11 to one. We're going to be giving those out. Good to know. Yeah. To so know. a lot of people haven't been able to get their hands on masks. You know, they've mm -hmm. been making them, but these are a little bit, the more medical ones. So, well, thank, thank you, you all very, very much. We'll sign off here. Carly, you can just stay on. We'll go in the back uh, uh, end of the broadcast and go from there. But uh, until next time, everybody, have a great day. Be well. Be well. Bye.